going, we're going. Hey guys, it's Ronnie. Sorry about the wind and then the uh, frozen tundra of Kansas City, Missouri. Getting a little sprinkles and man, Mother Nature has gone psychotic the past week or so. I haven't shot anything for a while. Figured I'd throw something together and post it real quick. Um, I'm not a big videographer, not a professional editor. Just a small town, small time guy. Messing around here, having fun with it. Hope y'all enjoy. Just give a real quick explanation and talk just a little bit about myself. Uh, 45 years old, been an automotive technician since I was able to be legally employed, but it's really kind of in my DNA. I grew up around it. My dad and my uncles used to build high rods and stuff. And, sold used cars and had car lots and shops and all that stuff so yeah it's just part of me um bonnie here bought that car about 10 years ago always kind of like those what's the time in that one it's got the 4t65 transmission in it so that's why it's in the yard i'll get to it eventually i babied it for about 10 years or so so it's still in really nice shape when uh gathered up the leather interior for it and all that stuff as I was piecing it together. Ooh, is it gonna open? Nope. It's been a while. But she's in pretty nice shape. Um, picked that one up from the neighbor. I'm not real sure what to do with it. Again, no rust. It's the Z26 Breda last year of production, 96. In the raspberry something rather, I don't know, I call it Barney. That's kind of cool for what it is, but again, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm trying to come up with a reasonable name for my channel to no avail. It'll come to me eventually. Uh, it's not living in a small town, and I can get away with this sort of thing, so. It's my uh, 06 Silverado. This is in one of my YouTube videos. I bought this thing at a car lot I was working at because it came in needing the uh, G80 rear end rebuilt. Did that. It had, uh, what, 250,000 miles on it, something like that. It's around 300 now. still runs like a champ. And since I rebuilt the rear end, no trouble out of it. But when I got underneath it, I noticed that it was completely rust free. Yeah, the color scheme and all that, I had to have it. $8,000 later, it's mine. So my youngest son decided that he wanted this thing, and it's been parked in the yard for a couple of years or so. Oh, it is a two-wheel drive 5.3. This is a good side. Yeah, that's my luck. So this thing was my daily driver for a couple of years, and I bought it with that body damage right there. Well, then I uh, put it in a ditch in the snow and did that. While I had it parked on the street, somebody did that and drove away, so yeah, it turned into a bit of a project. Still a pretty cool truck, though. I think I'm just going to keep it off the road for a while and fix it up a little at a time. Uh, huge Honda fan, of course. I'm a mechanic, so I drive the things that are reliable. I don't want to have to work on my stuff as soon as I get home, you know? So, yeah. Honda Accord Coupe, four cylinder, five speed, two door. Not in bad shape. I mean, you know, you got that clear coat on the black, bad for Honda. <laughs> but I kind of like it. And, well, that right there adds 100 horsepower. So, yeah, she's really fast. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, I mean, 300,000 miles and it gets 40 miles per gallon. Totally reliable. No way I could ever complain about that. Sorry, I keep putting my finger in front of the lens. It's freezing out here. Uh, well, I don't really know what else to say at this moment. Kind of went over the basics, so... Y'all got any questions, hey, feel free to hit me up. Oh, I'm going to run over to my brother's where the uh, Trans Am is. Had to put it in the garage. Whole lot of time and money in that thing for it to sit outside in the weather. Y'all wasn't having that. Um, 
I'll grab a quick video on that because it's going to be fun to dig it out, let alone get it ready for this event that I want to do with it. Check back with you later. So, as I was going through this, I realized that some folks might not like the idea of me driving a foreign car, but let me clue you in on something. Um, well, yeah, Honda is stupid reliable, as most people know. But, uh, <clears throat> you see that one right there? That means that this vehicle was built right here in the United States. So, I don't really have a problem with driving it whatsoever. So, this is my nephew's, what, 06, I think, Pontiac G6 Coupe. Blasphemy is really what it is. I mean, yeah, it does look kind of cool. It's got some neat features and whatnot, but it has a Chevy 3.9 liter with the uh, screwball variable valve timing. It's really variable cam timing. Uh, he bought this thing and ran it out of oil. I put an engine in it. And found out that somebody messed a few things up. And then something else happened where he ran it out of oil again. And I told him I wasn't putting another engine in it. So if y'all want to own a nice looking 06 G6 coupe, I bet he'd hook you right up with it. This is my brother's 2011 Camaro SS. 6.2 automatic uh, and that one's going to be another project coming up here we go it's the garage slash storage area see there is the Trans Am um, the transmissions against the wall over there somewhere uh, Harley Davidson's for sale uh, I think he wants 15000 for it it's uh, 2015. It's got a few mods on it. Fairing, radio, all that crap. But yeah, um, it's probably going to be more work getting the TA out than actually fixing it. But hey, it's inside, so I'm not going to complain. I'm not sure to call it a shelf, workbench, or. Yeah, it, it, this is probably going to take a solid day, maybe two, just to get it out. But again, at least it's not sitting outside getting rusty.